Hello, so today I'm gonna to take you through a walkthrough of the CK12 Flexbooks. So these are free online customizable textbooks that you can use with your students either online, print them out, they can go on a phone, a Kindle, anything like that. So here I am logged into the CK12 website and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down to the different subjects and I'm gonna pick the subject that I want. So in this case, I'm gonna click on biology. What's gonna happen now is I'm gonna be brought to a page that's going to give me two options. One is I'm going to get a set of concepts, which are just individual kind of mini lessons that I can use with my class, either as whole class or as individual assignments, or I can go into the Flexbook textbooks. So I'm gonna click on the Flexbook textbook for right now, and I get a collection of the different ones that are offered. I'm gonna choose the one I want. In this case, I'll just pick this first one right here. So once the book opens, I can see the different parts of the textbook. I have the table of contents here. It also brings me some of the resources. In this case, I guess they can't be displayed and provides me with some details as well. So I'm gonna click on customize because I wanna be able to customize this textbook to meet the needs of my classroom. So before I begin, it gives me a couple of tips. First, it tells me that autosave is going to save my work as I go along, which is great. It also tells me that there's a draft function. And then lastly, it tells me not to finalize my book until I'm 100% sure that I'm done. So I'm gonna click on got it. And now here I am. So first thing I might do is rename this textbook. So maybe I'm gonna call it Biology 9 because this is for my ninth grade class. And then I take a look at all of these different chapters right here. And I know that I am not gonna get through all of these chapters, they're just not part of my curriculum. So for example, this 17, 18, 19, and 20, not part of my curriculum. So I'm just gonna go in and click the X button next to the chapters that I don't want, and they're going to be removed from my textbook. Okay, so now let's say I want to go into a specific topic. So plant evolution and classification. Well, I know I'm gonna be covering classification, but I don't really know if I'm gonna be covering evolution. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into it, and I'm gonna see here the different things. So the four types of modern plants. I'm not sure about that, so let's click on this edit button so I can really get into this and see what it's about. So now I have the opportunity to change the title. Right now I'm just gonna save the title. And now I actually have the ability to edit the actual text in the book. So I can see these lesson objectives, I can see a list of vocabulary, and I can go through all this stuff here. And if there's something that I know there's a specific thing that we're not gonna cover, I can delete that specific part of that chapter. So there's really great levels of customizability that this offers. So let's say, I don't know here, let's say I am not going to talk about, um, okay, let's think about this. Let's say I don't like some of these questions that they have here, these end of the chapter questions. So maybe, you know, I don't like these. So I'm gonna, I can just click and get rid of those. And I could have done this for actual content as well, but just for the sake of quick demo, I'm just gonna do that. And then once I'm done, uh, so now I'm just gonna say keep as draft, because remember I'm not done editing my whole book yet, so I don't wanna finalize anything quite yet. So I can go back to my Biology 9 textbook up here. And another thing I can do is rearrange these topics. So maybe I don't do these topics in this particular order. So for example, maybe I'm doing um, ecology towards the end. So what I can do is I can grab this and move it down to where I want it to be. So maybe I'm gonna put it right before the glossary and I'm gonna take the other chapter that was about uh, ecology and bring that down as well. So this is the great thing, you're able to put these chapters in the order that matches what you teach in your classroom, you're able to go into the actual content 
and customize it so you don't have that extra information that sometimes might be too above your class that could end up confusing them. And then you can get it however you want. And even if you wanted to, you can click add content and you can add in a whole new chapter. You can add in other resources from CK12 and really customize this to be exactly how you want it to be. And once I'm done, I can go ahead and click save. So this is saving this textbook for me. So now I can go back to my view. And now I have this, you can see how it's created by me. And it has the chapters in the order that I want them to. And now what I can do is I can download this as a PDF. I can use an offline reader. I can click on publish, which allows me to publish this to the CK12 community if I want to. And then I can also say share with classes. So if I've set my classes up with CK12 accounts, I can share this with them so that they can access it that way. Most people, however, I've seen use this download PDF and then just upload the PDF document to their classes webpage so that it's accessible from all their students. The, let me give you one more um, clarification on the online reader. So when you click on that, it actually brings you to a link to open up the um, information about the reader and then also tells you how you can download the app. So if I click on open and reader, I'm gonna get a nice view that gives me the opportunity to download the full book for offline reading or I can just go into a specific chapter and read it on my computer like this. What I also like about this view is that it gives me a couple different options. So first I have the option to change the text, bigger or smaller, depending on the person who might have possibly a, a visual disability. It also gives me some different fonts that I can choose from. So depending on how you or your student wants it to look. And the great thing is that each person can customize this to be the way that he or she wants it to be. I can use this little button down at the bottom to quickly turn to the next section in the book. And I can go ahead and read this. And then I can either go forward to the next section or back if I need to. I really like how it includes things like links to YouTube videos so the students can just click on that and see the video, which is great because you know a regular textbook is not going to have that. They might have a link and you'd have to type it in and this just makes it so much easier. And remember, you are able to customize this so you can put in any sort of links and videos that you see fit. Then if I need to switch to a, another section or I want to jump to another section, I can go up here on the top right and click on these three lines and it's going to give me the whole um, listing right here and I can jump let's say I need to jump to the glossary because I need to look up some words I can look at the words from any specific chapter so let's say I want I'm looking for some J words it tells me the definition of joint and you know things like that so I really feel like Flexbooks are a great thing to use in your classroom, plus they save a ton of money of not having to buy textbooks all the time. And if you notice when we picked this out, this also came with a workbook. So there are even digital worksheets that you can assign your students or just print them out and give them to them in a you know regular manner. So I hope this has answered some of your questions and clarified a little bit about the CK12 textbook. If you have any other questions, I encourage you to leave them in the comments below. My information is in the description box, so feel free to reach out to me by email, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or sign up to um, follow my blog. Thanks so much, and have a great day.